Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in order to science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding department highest salary using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook and Google interviews. Okay, also if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard level questions using SQL. The list of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, do not worry if you do not have lead code premium subscription. I am going to share this Pandas schema in the description box below as well you can just copy it in jupyter notebook and try it on yourself as well okay let's jump right in the question reads we are given a table called employee with four different columns id being the primary key column with unique values for this table department id is a foreign key reference column of the id from the department table okay so basically this uh, column department id can be used to merge information with the second table department each row of this table indicates the id name and salary of an employee it also contains the id of their department okay second table department has two columns id and name id within the primary key of the uh, table for it is guaranteed that department name is not null okay each row of this table indicates the id of a department and its name okay we are asked to write a solution to find employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments order of the result does not matter okay so basically if we look at the input right so let's go through this example so you have various people their salary and the department they belong to so one is it and two is sales so in it there are three peoples who earn 70 000 90 000 and 90 000 so in it you have jim and max as output and in sales you the maximum salary is 80,000 right so Henry so there are three rows that you are going to have and that is how you have okay so since this information is you know present separately in two different tables first thing that we should do is we can use the department id column of employee and the id column of department table so basically we have information that all these employee way which department what is the name of the department they belong to because in the uh, output we need the department name right not the id and the name of the employee and their salary okay so let's uh, go ahead and perform a merge and save this in a data frame called df right uh, let me just drag it on the left okay so df and then let's do pandas dot merge and uh, on the left we should keep employee table then on the right we can keep the department table right then left since the name of the columns are different so left on right so what is the name of the column from the employee table that we are performing a join on that is department right department id right on right so right on id how do we perform the join left because we are just taking this employee table and appending the name of the departments right so we need to have all these rows okay and then also this is not required but since uh if you look at right so id column uh in employee table and id column in department table even though they mean different things the name is same so if you do not write suffixes, it is going to assign just ID X's and ID Y's, which is like not easy to read. So what I try to do is add suffixes so that we know, okay, which column is coming from which table. So let's uh, do that, uh, that if it is coming from employee table, append it, append the name of the column with employee. And if it is coming from the department table, append it with dot DP or underscore DP okay so this looks good uh let me go ahead and return this also not complete yet but let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so now we have okay id of the employee name of the employee and then uh salary department id id of department and name of department okay so not only the id column even the name column is same right but we now know that okay name of the these are the name of the employees and these are the name of the department okay so now we have all the employees and which department they belong to now secondly what we need is we only need to keep those rows where the employee salary is equal to the highest salary of that particular 
particular department. So there are two ways to go about it from here. Let me go ahead and do the bigger route or the more you know logical route, and then I'm going to uh, use the apply method as well, where you can just you know condense all the two three lines that I do from here in just one single row, right? Okay. So now our second goal should be to find every department's highest salary right so for that what we can do is we can go ahead and either use D this df table or we can just we can use the employee table because uh, for each dip since this employee table already has department id right so we can group by the department id and get the maximum salary and then using that we can append those uh, a new column maximum salary right in this uh, df that we have just created so let's call a new data frame called df2 where we are doing is okay so take the employee table right take the employee table group by right group by the let's say department id right group by department id and then take the salary column take the salary column and perform a max out of it and since you are grouping by department id to have that as a column we need to reset index right so reset index uh, also the uh, name of the salary let's rename this to max salary so that like it's easier for us us to you know know that okay these are not normal salaries these are the maximum salaries so rename right so rename this entire thing uh, what do we want to rename columns so old uh, name is salary and new name is max salary okay uh, now instead of df let me return df2 let's see what do we have in df2 now okay so now we know that we have for every department id what is the maximum salary so now what we can do is we have df so this is our df2 right every department's maximum salary and this is our uh, merged data frame that we initially created so uh, yeah so this one so using the department id column from this and the department id column from df2 as well we can append a new you know a maximum salary this column here to say okay these are the maximum salaries of the particular department this employee belongs to so so let's save this in a new data frame called df3 where what we are basically doing is we are taking the uh, you know df uh, initial uh, data frame that we created and then perform a merge or uh, with df2 right on because name of the column is department id right and how we do want to perform this left right because we are just appending the new column right how is equal to left okay now let me go ahead and return df3 let's see whatever we were trying to intend and get to do we have that Okay, so now you have the maximum salary, department ID, salary of each of the employee and name of the employees as well, right? So now you have all the information that you want. Then what we can do is we can simply go ahead and do a Boolean indexing to say that, okay, from this data frame, keep only those rows where your salary is equal to the maximum salary, right? So we can just do, okay, DF3, then DF3, take the salary column and equate it with right with the maximum salary right so this is going to return you only those rows where the salary is equal to the maximum salary if i go ahead and run this again so we are going to get okay so only these three so now you have almost similar output that you need right so now this only considers this output only considers the department employee and salary we have a lot other columns as well so instead of that we need okay so the first entry should be department so there is a list of columns that we want so firstly they need name of the department right so here we have name department but it should be renamed as well to department so first let's keep those columns in the order they want and then rename it right so name of the department then they want the employee so basically name of the employee right so name of the employee and then they also want the salary part right so salary okay let me go ahead and run this so now let's see what do we have here so now our output is almost same right so now uh, we have everything that is similar except the name of the columns so what we can do ahead is we can go ahead and do dot rename right rename and then we rename the columns and then 
provide the old value so old value is name of the department should be changed to department right then uh, name of the employee right name of the employee should be changed to employee right and uh, if you want you can just you know because this is all lower cases but here s is in uh, capital case so we can do this we cannot do this uh, hopefully it will get accepted as well but okay let me just do it for generalizing purposes okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this uh so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do now so the entire thing that i did is so i firstly i performed a merge to get the all the information to the name of the department of each employee at a data frame called df and whatever i did here right so all these th things you can instead of you know writing all these two three lines what you can do is you can simply go ahead and use the dot apply method so how will that work is okay so let me go ahead and instead of you know remove this entire part right remove this entire part uh let's say up till here okay so instead of using the employee uh data frame let's use the df data frame that we initially had right uh, let's use the initial uh, data frame da let me just remove this salary uh, or this return part as well so that it's easier okay so df2 is equal to df dot group by df this data frame has the department id column right so group by this and then you can use the dot apply method so dot apply and then you need to apply you takes a function right so we can have an unnamed function called lambda functions so the way to initiate is at lambda x such that so return x such that and now you can perform those entire thing that we perform right that boolean indexing at the end you can perform here so so x of salary column right x of salary column is equal to equal to x of salary dot max right dot max okay and let me return this now right let me return this df2 let's see what do we have let me run this right so now if you look at this output so basically this what is this doing so it is whatever we are trying to attain all by all those three rows so it you are going getting this right so for every department we are only now keeping those rows where the salary was equal to the maximum part so you have jim max and henry right jim max and henry whose salary are equal to the maximum in their department so basically how this is working is so we are taking the uh, merge data frame right so the the merge data frame that we created we grouped by the department id and for each of the group we are calculating the maximum salary right and then using that to perform a boolean indexing to say that okay return us all the rows where so what is the you know output of a boolean indexing in pandas data frame so return us all the rows which satisfies a particular condition so here we are saying that okay take the salary column and for that particular department id equate it with the maximum and if it is equal to the maximum then take all the rows and finally all the rows combine into a data frame and that is the data frame that we are needed to return right and then apply uses it to you know basically merge it back to the data frame so basically now you are only left with those rows where your salary is equal to the maximum part isn't this is a very cool trick instead of you know uh, doing all those two three lines i know this is uh, this part is difficult to understand but like it is basically doing the same thing that we were trying to do using the two three lines that i, I just talked about right okay so now once we have this then like it's not a problem all we need to do is we don't need to return everything right so we can provide the list of the columns that we want so firstly we need name of the department right name of the department then we need the name of the employee right and finally we need the salary part let's go ahead and rename it right so rename what do we want to rename columns provide the old value so name of the department should be changed to department right name of the 
name of the employee should be changed to uh, name of the employee should be changed to um employee right and then the salary part so salary part should be changed to salary with a capital s okay so let me go ahead and run this again so now this is accepted as well let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted as well so this is how we do it yes it is of somewhat difficulty but if you are want to if you want to learn something new you can use this apply method and basically the entire two three rows can be condensed into one using this apply method so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video